This is the most screwed up decision I've seen since I've been in Congress. Sometimes you have to let them fight. It's about this president's policies. Like two kids in a lot, you gotta let them fight. Mr. Volcker was clear. No quid pro quo. He just described is a quid pro quo. We do that all the time with foreign policy. No quid pro quo whatsoever. And I have news for everybody. Get over it. There's going to be political influence in foreign policy. I'm talking just to Mr. Moving. Carl. How many of you went to the game last night? Certainly normal for baseball fans to be excited about a great baseball game. <laughs> but there's nothing normal about the Nats beating the Cardinals. Pretty exciting. There's Pete Olsen. That is an Astros fan. Go Astros. I know, it was great. Bron James said that Maury's support for Hong Kong was, quote, misinformed. Often known as King James, perhaps Chairman LeBron would be a better honorific today. The House will be in order. Nobody wants to be in order. Let's start with math. Basic math. Andrew Yang math. I have bold ideas. I did one time try to play golf and I kind of misfired and the ball hit a duck in the head and a, yeah, it appeared to appeared to perish. Bring disrup disrup bring disrepute upon the House of Representatives. My friend and Western Caucus member Mr. Curtis, one of the best dressed members of Congress. <laughs> Gentleman is recognized. Thank you. Uh, Anybody else want to put all the Republican talking points on the table because we could just get rid of them all at once? I have not heard okay, thank any you. proposal to enable Iran to take oil fields in Syria. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a general observation here. Look at that. Such a nice big hug. Some of the people who come before us have literally never, ever entered a courtroom in their lives. Isn't that sweet? May not have ever seen a Perry Mason show and certainly didn't stick around for the second half of any Law and Order episode. Mr. President, par parliamentary inquiry. With that action, has this bill now been passed? It has. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Trump called Mattis, quote, the world's most overrated general. I mean, I'm not just an overrated general. I am the greatest, the world's most overrated. I don't know if it's shaming or shading or whatever it is. I'm honored to be considered that by, by Donald Trump because he also called Meryl Streep an overrated actress. So I guess I'm the Meryl Streep of generals. <laughs> Billy, do a, an auction for the Saints. Auction the team off, please. Yeah, come on. Come on over here, Billy. Go. All right, going to buy the Stanley Cup here. Hi, and who get 25? What do you get? $30,000. How about a 30? 35, 40. You able to buy 45, 45, 50. How about a 50,000? Now, five. Able to buy 60. Now, five, 65. Get that satisfied look off your face. You're out. <laughs> 65, 70. I have sold at $65,000. That's, that's, that's just bizarre to me.